This tutorial is specifically geared to people who would like to be an influencer in 2020. If you are interested in sponsor deals or brand deals, you need to have what's called a media kit. But a lot of you may not have a media kit in your disposal. So what we're going to do is we're going to analyze a media kit for a very popular influencer on Instagram and see how the Canva templates measure up. If we decide after looking at them that this is a really good fit, I would strongly encourage you to look up the media kit templates on Canva and create one before we roll into the next year. If you have not joined my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even stock photos for free, just go to LaShondaBrown.com or you can click on the link in my description. Without further ado, let's hop in. If you're interested in pursuing a career as an influencer, it's important that you understand what that actually means. An influencer is an individual who has the power to affect purchase decisions of others because of their authority, their knowledge, their position or relationship with their audience. It's an individual who has a following in a particular niche, which they actively engage with. And the size of the following depends on the size of the niche. So at the end of the day, it's not if you have a ton of followers on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, it's are you niching down in your industry and do you have a voice within that niche? If you do, then you can make a living like Jenna Kutcher does by being an influencer. So if we're just taking a bird's eye view of Jenna on social media, and this is just one of the platforms she's present on, she has 886,000 followers. You see that she posts frequently. She's got over 4,700 posts. And if we scroll down and we look at the images like this one, you can see she has a crazy amount of engagement. Not only are people liking the post, but they are commenting. And one of the things that really sets influencers apart from other users on Instagram specifically is their engagement. It's so easy to buy likes and really artificially grow your numbers. But when it comes to comments, you can tell by the quality of the comments if it is a bot or a robot or if it's an actual person. When brands see real people engaging with influencers on Instagram, they are immediately seen as more valuable. So the fact that she consistently gets lots of comments on her posts, along with lots of likes, shows that these are people who actually engage on her posts and don't just double tap and walk away. So if we go over to Jenna's media kit, the first thing you're going to see is a photo of her. And you can see by the imagery that her branding visually is consistent. She's using very similar presets on her images on her Instagram feed that you're seeing in the media kit. Then you scroll down and she's giving you a quick bio about who she is as a person. And everything seems to be visually consistent. So that is something that Canva can definitely help with. Then she's going to roll into the stats. And if you break down these numbers, they really kind of fall into three categories, her traffic, her following, like the specific numbers, and then the engagement rate. And so again, this is super valuable. She even puts her posting schedule. Then she gets into the nitty gritty. And again, her numbers have actually gone up since this was last published. And so she talks about how her largest following is on Instagram, but she does get 750,000 viewers monthly on Pinterest. And then she even has followings on Twitter and on Facebook. Now, what I love about Jenna's pricing list is she doesn't just say, here are here's the value of what I provide and here's what I'm charging, but who follows her? And so she really has a very clear idea of who is engaging on her account. And again, this is how she has niched down and this is what advertisers are wanting to see. Who follows you and do you have a very clear audience? And so she's able to say the majority of her followers are women 25 to 34 living in the US. Her audience is 95% female. 
So it's not just women follow her, it's women predominantly follow her. And so if a brand is targeting women within that age range, she's going to be a really good fit for them as a brand sponsor. What I love about this page is she really starts to talk about what her brand voice is. When a sponsor post blends in with the other posts that an Instagrammer does, it has a higher conversion rate because it doesn't immediately come across as an ad. So if a brand can fit into the brand voice she has already established on their feed, they're going to convert at a higher rate. Finally, she gives some information about how to book and even talks about some people that have featured her like Huffington Post, Inc. and Forbes magazine. So this is what Jenna has in her media kit, and this is available on her website publicly so people know how they can partner with her. It's not super, super long, but it is value packed with information about who she is, what services she provides, who her audience is, and where that traffic is coming from. So now that we have looked at a professional influencers media kit, let's hop on over to what Canva provides and see if it does measure up to the needs of what you would require as an Instagram influencer or really an influencer on any social media platform. So if we go on over to templates, you're going to just search in that search bar and pull up media kit templates. And immediately I'm feeling pretty good about this because a lot of these have a photo on the front. So you're automatically encouraged to show who you are in this document. So I think what I'm going to pick is this one here. And we're going to say, use this template. So it looks like this media kit is specifically geared to a style blogger, which a lot of Instagrammers are. So again, we've got that picture on the front, which is a good sign. Then you start to scroll down and it's showing you who the blog is about, what services are offered and what metrics and analytics they have available. So this is kind of the gist of what Jenna had provided. However, hers was a bit more extensive in terms of her brand voice, where she's been featured. And so if we wanted to elaborate on some of these pages, what we could do is add a new page and maybe look at some of these other media kits. A lot of these are two pages, but this particular one is three. And perhaps we can pull from other documents. So if I continue to scroll down here, I really like the way this is laid out. So this gives some more information about her. If we click through here, I think there was one that had three in it. Okay, and here has some specific stats. You've got some of the social media icons and you can get more into the affiliations. So I think what is provided within Canva is certainly sufficient to help you to create something that is visually consistent. I would look for influencers online that are in similar industries to see what are they publishing publicly to try to frame how you present yourself to brands in the new year. You can use their media kits as inspiration but Canva definitely does provide enough templates that you can piece together something that you can easily put on your website and use to be attractive to brands. So this video was a part of the Canva Create-a-thon and if you are interested in winning a Squarespace website valued at $2,000, you need to be the first YouTube subscriber to find all 25 secret words hidden in my videos. So grab a pen and paper, and here is the secret word for this particular video. The secret word is sponsored. I hope after watching this tutorial, you are inspired to create a media kit of your own. If you decide that you want to be an influencer in the next year, would you let me know in the comments? Post your Instagram handle and I'll show you some love. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, ta-ta for now.